Hi, in this video we will walk through the process of installing Device Row 2's main appliance, the remote collector, and the Windows Discovery service. To download the main appliance, you'll want to select free trial on the website. While you're here, you want to go to resources, auto discovery software, and download the remote collector and the Windows discovery service. Keep in mind that the main appliance and the remote collector come packaged as a virtual appliance, so you're just simply importing this appliance into a hypervisor. The Windows discovery service is a small piece of software that is required to discover any Windows de devices that are on your head. Once you're completed, you want to turn on the main appliance and you'll, and you'll be greeted to a login screen. If you want to SSH in, the port is 404. Use the default credentials to log into the system. Once you're here, you'll select option one so that you can configure a static IP address for your appliance. You'll see there's a few other options that are important. Option six, an NTP client. Option seven, setting up a time zone. And then option 10, changing the password if you want to change the credentials for the credentials you just used to log in. When you are done, you can now point to that URL, this IP address in the URL, and you can get to the web application of device 42. Here you're going to log in with the default credentials and you are now in the web application of device 42. Next, you want to go back to the hypervisor and you want to repeat the process for the remote collector. With the remote collector, you'll use its default credentials to log in. The very first thing you want to do is go to network interfaces and configure a static IP address for your remote collector. Once this is completed, you'll want to go to the RC setup. This is where you'll provide a name for your remote collector, you'll point it to the main appliance, so you'll need to know the IP address of your main appliance or the fully qualified domain name, and then it's going to ask for a one-time password or an OTP. You want to go to the web application of Device 42 under Discovery, go to Remote Collectors, here select Generate OTP. Once that's completed, you'll see that it'll say Connected, and you'll see that your remote collector is connected to your main appliance. Next, you want to install the Windows Discovery service, so you want to go to the MSF file that you downloaded. When you double-click on it, you'll go through a, a series of prompts, one screen is going to ask for an RC endpoint. That's going to be the IP address of your remote. Here it's also looking for a code, and that's going to be another OTP. So you want to generate another OTP, copy and paste that code in there, and then hit next. When that's completed, you'll see your Windows Discovery service connected to your remote collector. That concludes this video, and I'd like to thank you for listening.